Good morning. I just wanted to send you a brief hello. I uh, hope you all are doing well. Everyone seems to be doing better and better and better at getting the assignments in and getting familiar with online classes. Uh, you're doing a really, really good job. So I just wanted to comment on a couple of things to make sure they're clear. Um, sorry about that feedback there. Um, I just wanted to let you know a couple of things that are happening that I want to try to make clear and I thought a video might help instead of just writing you an email this week. So the first one is that when you do your assignments, at the top of the page it says document length and then it will say five pages or three pages or two pages. It'll depend on how long the assignment is. Those page numbers are not how long your assignment has to be when you type the answers. They are to tell you how many pages are in the assignment so that you make sure you complete all the pages that are there. The assignments are set up so that you can type right into the document. Later in the semester, you will submit your own written documents. But right now, all you have to do is type into the document that I give you for the assignment. And I'm telling you how many pages there are in it so that you make sure you go through the whole thing. In the past, students would only complete one of the three pages. So I, that's why I have that in there. So that's one thing. The second thing is I do say in your uh, recordings and different places that it's okay to email me your assignments and that's true. However, when you email me an assignment, you must tell me what section you're in and why you're sending it to me. You're really supposed to put those in Blackboard only in order to score them, to give you your grade on them, and to give you any feedback or advice about the assignment. I need to have it in Blackboard. So it's okay to send it to me if you're worried it's going to be late or if you're worried that um, you haven't done it right and you want me to look at it first before you submit it, but you need to tell me that in the email. Otherwise, I have no idea why you've sent it to me, what you want me to do with it, and what section of the class you're in, because I teach many sections and I have almost a hundred students. So it's not possible for me to always know why you would be sending it to me and what class you're in. So I wanted to make sure that I made that clear to you. Um, so I hope those two little things will help you. You're all doing really well. You're getting started on the career research packet this week and actually filling it in. So make sure you go back to that career research packet folder and get the document there that you'll be working in. And save it, save it, save it. Save it in several places so you don't lose it. I've had students who lost their document and had to start all over again. It's so sad. I hate that when that happens to you. So save your document and make a copy of it and put it somewhere off of your computer in case something happens to your computer, okay? All right, and remember you have your FYE coach who can also help you with assignments.